So the German label did not want to release it in the US. I think it was number one in Germany in 1983. KROQ in LA was a big station. They had a guy by the name of Rodney Bingenheimer. And Rodney Bingenheimer had been on K Rock, I think, since 1976. He had broken bands like the Bangles, he'd broken Blondie, Van Halen. He had freedom over his playlist. He had the freedom to go ahead and say, yeah, that sounds good. I'll, I'll try this. People came to his show expecting to hear the new thing. They did not come to his show to hear like what everyone else was playing. They wanted yeah. to hear the new stuff. They wanted to be ahead of their friends and be the first one to hear the cool stuff. And Rodney Bigenheimer had a reputation at that time for the guy that would know that stuff.